My name is uh, Philemon Daotam. Uh, I just want to talk about uh, the ongoing crisis in our country and what we can do together as South Sudanese uh, so that we cannot be affected uh, by uh, the divisive language that created by uh, Kira administrations and his, uh, his group. Um, we, as a South Sudanese, we experience a lot of challenges. One of the challenges is divisions uh, within us, whether back home or here in diasporas. Uh, we have been divided, not because we're interested on divisions, but because of the political atmospheres in our country uh, completely divided us in so many ways. Uh, secondly, I just want to talk about, you know, the Kir administrations and Taban conspiracy that uh, may bring more suffering uh, to the people of South Sudan. Uh, all of us, we are South Sudanese, and all of us, we are seeking for better South Sudan, a South Sudan that fit. Uh, the people of South Sudan, a South Sudan that brings security and respect the right of every individual in South Sudan, whether you are a minority, you are a majority, you are disabled, you are women, you are, you know, we need a South Sudan that is inclusive. But when you look at uh, Kir administrations, Kir administration is driven by uh, by wrong people, a people that don't understand what it means to be a nation, a people that has no values of South Sudan. And that is problematic for us. We know they created a policy that divided our people. And how can we stand together to make sure we confront their uh, wrong policies in the country. Uh, I think, you know, there are so many ways that we can do it. Always, if we are standing together with one voice, our voice can make a difference. And, you know, when we confront the wrong ideas, we have to make sure that we cannot, you know, confront wrong ideas with the wrong ideas. We have to shape our ideas and make sure South Sudanese understand who we are and what we are fighting for. And that is what we are lacking as South Sudanese. Sometimes we have good ideas, but our good ideas is driven by emotion. And that cannot make any difference to the people of South Sudan. Kir is not for South Sudan, and Kir is not for us. And we must understand that, and we must know that. Conspiracy that done by Tabandengai, it is one of the dangerous things, if we are not looking carefully for that. Taban understood well to make sure he divide the strong voice of oppositions by creating by creating traction within the opposition so that the opposition will be weak and then he will try to make sure to blindfold here and continue to implement peace that is not gonna happen in South Sudan. And that is what we South Sudanese who are in oppositions, you know, are lacking. We need to unite and make sure we stand with the people of South Sudan. And we have to stay away from the language of divisions. Already, South Sudan has been damaged. Kir is completely destroyed the system in South Sudan. And what, why I'm saying this? Why I'm saying this? You know, when you look at Kir administration, it's not about what they do for people of South Sudan, but is about how we can how they can group themselves and make sure the power will not be taken away from them 
And Kir is not for his tribe, to tell you the truth. Kir is using his tribe to make sure he stay on power with the group called Gen Council of Elders. And those are the people that, you know, they continues, continue to uh, manipulate the whole Kira administrations and they keep, you know, enriching themselves when the war continues. Values of South Sudan should be number one. We have to remain united. We have to understand Kir is not for us. I know some people may argue Kir is a liberator. Kir is a, a leader. For me, Kir is not a leader in different ways. One is Kir during the liberation is a Kir that fighting for the right of the people of South Sudan. But Kir after independence is a different Kir. And I want everybody to understand this. Because during the liberation, he has been controlled by the liberation uh, manifesto and principles. But now he created his own principles to make sure he ran the, uh, the crazy system in Juba. So our unity is our success. We have to remain as South Sudanese. Fight the brutal system, a dictatorial system that cannot benefit all of us. We want to bring our people together to experience, to be a great people in their own country. Our heart is broken because when you look at the massive immigrations, displacement, famine in South Sudan, it's like we are not able to do anything. We have so many South Sudanese, they are qualified to run the country. But because of the individual within the system, they know their incapability. They don't want to give opportunity for those who are capable to make sure they can lay a foundation for South Sudan. And that is what we uh, together confront. We want to be a better South Sudan. A South Sudan that belongs to all of us. And that is the mission we, you know, together can fight for. So I hope, you know, my message uh, can be received and I also will accept any arguments because we are looking a way forward how we can make South Sudan a better place. So Taban is not for us and Taban is for himself and we must confront Taban and kill leadership.